In this episode, I will talk about how I made the bowling team, how I got my first girlfriend, and how I managed baseball. Okay, so in high school, freshman year, I tried out for the bowling team, and back then I wasn't really good. Well, I was decent, but not as I am now. Um, I made the team because there was only 12 people that tried out, so everyone got a spot. Um, so I was on TV and I really didn't do well because my approach, um, I threw, the, I like walked to the line and throw it, I threw it, threw it, I didn't like go through the approach like the pros do, so I really needed help. Um, I finished that season with a 108 uh, average, which is uh, at the bottom of the line, um, so, yeah, so I didn't do very well, and, uh, the next year, sophomore year, um, I tried out again, and, um, I made the team, but there was more people that tried out. Because um, the top six are varsity, and then seven through twelve are JV, and twenty-one people tried out. So um, I was number fifteen, so I was kind of like a sub, but um, I did better. I was starting to get one forties, one fifties. Um, I was getting more strikes. Um, I finished that season with a 125 series. Um, I didn't reach um, a, a 125 average, sorry. I did um, reach some new high scores. I got a new high score of 166 that, that year. And I also got another high score of a 185 that year. Um, so, I did good. I finished with a 125 series, uh, average. Um, this year, I did a whole lot better. Um, I own, my average only went up to a 139 so far. We still have um, the 15th, January 15th, the 20th, and then and then the 22nd left for um, bowling. So, I'm right on the edge of 140 average. I hope I can get that up to a 1, into the 140s. Um, but I need to work my, um, I need to bowl really great, bowl, I need to do really great, like get into the 160s, 170s for the, uh, to get into the 140 average range. Because we had, like 44 games so far, and each game it starts getting harder to get that average up. Um, so I did get a high score twice. I think twice I got two new high scores. Um, three times actually. I got a 188, and then I beat that a month later and got a 204. Then I beat that. A, uh, a week later and got a 219 in December um, so I had two total two 200 gains total and the rest have been below 200 um, so 42 out of the 44 gains have been below for uh, 200 so I'm not very happy about that um, but I have a lot of bowling this month, 
and um, this year actually, um, I'm actually having um, bowling on the league next, starting next uh, Saturday at Punjab Zone XL um, on Randall World, and hopefully that works out. Um, then I have the next month starts the Bull High League, so I'll be in two leagues at one time, and then for a week, and then I have the whole summer to practice on my skills, so I can be ready for tryouts in October. So hopefully I do get better, and hopefully I make varsity um, in October. Okay, so my first girlfriend, um, was Jasmine, um, I asked her out, um, March 6th, 2012, um, that was three days after her birthday, and, um, a week later I asked her if she wanted to go see my sis half-sister's, um, concert at Westfield Middle School in the Gonquin. And that was also her birthday. Um, my hair sister, March 17, 2012. Um, St. Patrick's Day. So we went, um, I picked her up, my dad dropped me off, um, I saw off. Um, they were both nervous to meet each other. And when they both met, they couldn't stop laughing. And I don't know what they were laughing about. But ever since we got into the car to go to McDonald's, is um, my half sister's parents um asked if we wanted to go to McDonald's, and we did. So um, so from the car right there two McDonald's that couldn't stop laughing and I got a sandwich shake um cheeseburger and fries and they got the same thing and they couldn't stop laughing I just sat there watched the, watching them laugh I didn't want to interrupt <laughs> and then they go to when, we, when we're done they go to the bathroom and they laugh in there too I don't know why and then, um, then we took a picture, me and Jasmine, um, at McDonald's, my sister took it, and, um, then we went home, Jasmine showed my house, and she's like, jeez, Dan, you have a big house, and I'm like, yeah, I guess, and then, um, then when my half-sister dropped me off, we, um, we said, um, she asked me if she could take Jasmine home. And I'm like, I don't know. And then, um, then we said goodbye, and then me and Jasmine chatted for a while at my house. I had some, uh, pot and a soda. And then, um, then we drove, and then my dad and me drove her home. I said goodbye. Then we went out for a few more weeks, and then I was, um, two days before our one month anniversary, April 4th, 2012, um, I was gonna get her an anniversary present the day before our anniversary, because the day of our anniversary, we had off of school, so, um, I was getting ready to buy or something. I was gonna buy her some chocolates and flowers. And then um then she texts me saying that it's not going well and then not going well. Um she said it, I wasn't the right guy for her and she said she was sorry and we only went out twenty nine days. And it was hard for me, I guess.
because it was really to spike up. Um, so yeah, that's the time I had my first girlfriend. I decided to manage uh, baseball and um, the team, I, I was the manage, manager for freshman B team um, the past two years, um, freshman and sophomore. I was going to try out last year, but I got hit in the face for the baseball, so I managed freshman again. Both years, um, we had a winning record. Um, we went 20 and 4 freshman year, and then um, 15, 13 and 5 um, sophomore year. So, we did pretty good for last, yeah, last season. It was shortened because of the snow that we got in March. So, uh, both years I had a fun time managing. Um, I am still questioning if I want to try out this year. Um, I'll, f I'll probably figure it out by February, maybe, maybe before that. Um, So after uh, freshman year, I, um, I signed up for f summer ball and um, and we started right away and right after the, we get the school ended. So the first day of trial, uh, the first day we worked on some drills um, where they throw it up in the air and you had to run and catch it. Here's a funny story about that. He threw the ball, the coach threw the ball up in the air, and he had to run for it. And I didn't have time to react with my glove. Um, so I reached that with my bare hand, and I caught it at the last instant. And the coach said, don't ever do that in the game, it will hurt. So I was kind of happy. That whole day, that whole week, I was trying my best. I was diving for balls. I was um, catching balls. And, and then our first and then our first game June 7th came along and um, after three days of practice we had our first game and I did not play another game after that. And um, here's why. Um, I got hit, uh, we were playing Powhatan High School, where my friend Owen Siddons pitched a no-hitter, so I'm like, let's have another good memory here again at Powhatan. So, um, up to bat, I walk in the third inning, so I'm like, that's not bad, and then, um, the, the second time I'm up, before I got up, I got to play in the fifth inning or sixth inning or something like that. We were down 13-9, and, and the ball was hit right to me and it bounced off my glove and into the uh, outfield. Then the coach called in um, my friend Kim and Dion to come back in the game. After one play, I got taken out again. So, um, when I was going to the mound, I tripped over the mound and made a fool out of myself. So I'm like, man. And I thought that was the worst part of the day, but when I came up to bat in the seventh inning, 13 to 9, two outs, and, um, I had an 0-2 count. Um, the Palatine coach, Dan Jennings, who's now the high school, Huntley High School coach, um, called the ball up and in, and the ball went too far in, 
and hit me right in the um the mouth and it luckily the tooth fell out in one piece so luckily they found it I went to the hospital got it put back in 45 minutes later um got four stitches in my lip um and that all took three hours <laughs> luckily I, get, I got to watch the White Sox game they won four to three and um so I think they were rooting for me I guess but after that um I just sat and watched the games I was on a diet I can only um have milkshakes or anything soft I can chew anything unless it was mashed up like applesauce um ice cream yogurt and that was like for a few months and then last year before tryouts they said I was fine I'm fascinated by